Hi everyone, thanks for watching. I'm Lauren from Guthrie and Ghani and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you the recording of the live question and answer session that I did over on the Instagram platform on Monday the 16th of October. So I've got some lovely new fabrics to show you this week. I'm going to be answering your questions, asking for help and hints and tips and advice, recommendations for your sewing and dressmaking projects. So certainly lots of inspiration to be had. You'll see me just read out any questions and comments that come in live as well during the session and if you are watching here on YouTube then you can leave a comment on this video and with it, yeah, any questions or feedback or anything like that and I can include it in a future session. So I'll switch over to the live recording now. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you very soon. Good evening everyone. Hello and thank you for watching. It's Monday the 16th of October and I'm here for another Q&A from the Gingy shop floor you with some lovely new fabrics to show you and then I've got your questions ready as well to answer too. So thank you to everybody who's watching live. Hello, I hope you're well. I hope you've had a nice weekend. So I do have some new fabrics to show you this week. So I will get on to them as well. And then <clears throat> I also wanted to let you know that the fabric that we included in the Sewing Society kits this month, so unfortunately we've sold out of the kits, but we do have a bit of the fabric left over, is now available on the website by the meter. Um, and good for jumpers like this one. This is the Helen's Closet Elliot sweater, which is a really nice raglan shape. Um, and then you can have a really cosy uh, um, turtleneck, neckband like this. Um, or you can have... A smaller one which is so this is like a basket weave one it's 100 percent cotton um and then we've also got it in a navy but this you can see this is like a cable weave it's gonna make my face go funny again so this has got like a uh, half the size of this collar here and this one and then we've also got it in the plum as well um this is the plum one here oh that's making my face go a bit funny as well um so so yeah they are all available in the just arrived section now um, and you can really customise the length as well. Um, I actually really like the little cropped one. I did have the navy one on today, but um, I had to change into the teal because, yeah, there's, I don't know, there's just something about the, the camera on this phone that, that can't calibrate the colour when I show navy things against my face. Anyway, so, so yeah, they are now available in the just arrived section. Hi, everyone. It's lovely to see you all. I like hearing where you're all from as well. Um, <clears throat> And yeah, if you if you did miss out on the kit and you like the fabric, then the, the hints and tips video that came with the kit is available as well, just to let you know. Um, then also, since I last spoke to you, we have had finally had our delivery of the Mind the Maker Thelma quilted fabrics. So this was the fabric that I used, regular viewers or long-term followers will know, um, about my green line tamarack jacket that I made using this one um, last winter. And I've put up my blog post and little video about that now. So if you've got any questions or um, anything, you want some inspiration for sewing with it, do check out that blog post. There's a YouTube video that goes with it as well. And in there, I list lots of other alternative patterns that you can use for the fabric. Because we do also now have, sorry, I forgot to like bring them over in immediate reach of me. Um, but we do have the plain fabric, the solid fabric that goes with it. So it's basically like this fabric itself is like double layered. So it's not really a right and wrong side. Like they look the same on both sides and then they've got the wadding in the middle. But we do sell that fabric like on its own now as well. So you could use that to make vice binding or like any other sections of your projects and then we have also got matching open-ended zips as well which tone to all the colors of it and then we've got the back the pre-made bias binding as well and um, so so yeah there's that is all sort of restocked and um, the fabric you're wearing is it for sale it is yes it's in the just arrived section now it's the basket weave cotton um, and teal and um, what other you, the YouTube came up as private. Tr try it again. Um, there was a temporary moment yesterday when I was trying to enable the video that I had to p publish it and then make it private again. But it is. It should be. It should be available now. Um, or if if you're finding it hard to access it from YouTube, you can just go through the blog and and watch it there as well. But I'll double check the, the settings of it later. And um, but it should be okay now. 
um, have you had your delivery of boiled wool? It is imminent. I've had the I've had the notification that it is on its way today. So I'm hoping by the end of the week it should be here. Um, love that you have the Thelma Zips. I know I like so want to make something with them. They look really nice. Um, they're YKK Zips, but they've obviously had them like custom made to match the colours of the fabric. So they look really good. Um, so yeah. Um, so, so what was I going to say? Yeah, I think that was the end of my story on that. Um, the other thing that I was on my list to show you, and I forgot, sorry, not entirely with it at the moment. Um, I forgot to bring it over again to like actually show you, but we've got the paper cut patterns now. Um, I think maybe last week when I spoke to you, we had them, but they weren't online just yet, but they are all online now. So they are like the traditional paper printed versions of the paper cut patterns. And if you do like the, th the quilted Thelma fabric, then you're gonna love the paper cut Emmy jacket. It looks gorgeous. Um, and you can see some of the samples that they've made up in that as well. Basically looks like exactly the same fabric. Um, so so yeah they are all available online now as well and then a couple of other new things that I wanted to sh show you where we've had some of the new Atelier Brunette viscose prints in as well and um, which are really nice I'll hold some of them up so you can get a sense of the scale because the scale is quite big on this one and um, really lovely colors in this one nice and bright and vibrant and this is in another color way as well and um, these are on a plain weave viscose I believe let me double check yeah um, and then let me find the other colorway of that. This is like a darker colorway of it. So these are all on the just arrived section too. Um, I would say it's kind of like a midnight in the background, sort of tealy color, some purples and pinks. Um, and then this one here looks like a twill weave. It is 100% viscose, but yeah, it's a twill weave. So it's just like a little bit heavier. This feels really lovely and soft. Nice sort of abstract print there, kind of like brush strokes, like that one. Make a nice blouse. And then these ones are viscose crepes. So they've just got, yeah, that more sort of like subtle crepey texture, um, but they're nice, nice soft ones. This is like a nice sort of dark chestnutty kind of color in the background. And then yeah, that sort of abstract print on it. So quite nice if you want a print that's not floral. It's quite often viscose prints can be quite florally, but yeah. They're like a nice sort of alternative, lovely dark olivey green there in that one. So, so yeah, they are all in the Just Arrived section now too. And then we've also had a little delivery of some like nicer kind of fancier lining. So if you're making a coat or a jacket and you want more of like a sort of t traditional kind of like slippery lining, um, you know, that your arms and your body would sort of slip in and out of really easy, then some of these are really lovely alternative ones. Um, so this is the Emerald Stripe Jacquard fabric. It's 50 viscose, 50 acetate, 670 a meter. So this is like a very sort of narrow pinstripe. It's a lovely teal color. It's really nice. And then we've got this one, which is Ivory Spot Jacquard. And as you can imagine, it's ivory. And then it's got this little sort of jacquard spot woven into it. So a bit more of a subtle one, but just nice if you don't want something totally plain. Um, this one's really nice. It's a little bit thicker as well. This is the duck egg polka jacquard lining fabric. So it's very textured too. And these little sort of specks have been woven into it as well. So it's got a really nice texture, that one. Nice sort of minty greeny colour. And then... There's a couple of stripes. That's a nice pink stripe, that one. Love that bright colour. Similar, but in a purpley colour, this one. Um, so yeah, these are these are in the Just Arrived section now. And then the last one is, this is more of like a sort of dark browny colour, but again, it just reflects the light really nicely. That's sort of woven into the fabric, that little textured um, design on it. So yeah, some really nice ones there. I have dropped my question sheet let me pick that up um let me just see if i've missed any questions here um does that fabric you made your top from have any stretch it let me show you so it does like you can see here it's got stretch it doesn't have a huge amount of recovery because it is 100 percent cotton it doesn't have any elastane fibers in it um so you probably wouldn't want to make anything that was like really tight fitting um but but yeah it does have stretch as you can see um i'm making the dawn jeans with needle cord that has two percent elastane should i size down 
Mm, I think even 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 certain percentages of elastane actually the the amount of physical stretch that the fabric's got can vary um I think it's just due to sort of how they're made so I would say not not necessarily but um yeah it just depends on like the, the percentage of physical stretch it's got um I think I messaged you a bit late oh okay um so then was that that was everything that I wanted to show you there were some comments and things on the recording of last session that I put on YouTube as well that were to do with some of the questions that were getting asked so a question last week was about somebody who was getting some like twisting and kind of warping of their button plackets when they were stitching it on so there was a few sort of suggestions in relation to that maybe the pressure foot maybe the pressure on the presser foot tongue twister is too much regarding the warping on a fold over placket i used to have the problem all the time especially in lightweight wovens like rayon and viscose i got a walking foot and never looked back it's helped loads and now i use it for basically everything i have a nice bernina machine and i still use the walking foot almost always so another thing to consider there then we were also talking about whether cutting your scissors or using your rotary cutter on tin foil would sharpen it somebody said that they've tried it tried a rotary cutter with foil and it didn't work it seems such a waste to chuck the blades out but if they don't cut what can you do and then somebody else was also asking about the the sleeve on the wren blouse and how to make it less full and i didn't realize but somebody said that chalk and notch have a bonus sleeve for the wren blouse which does not have the volume of the original so that's useful you don't have to do anything with the sleeve you can just get the other one for free um and then somebody else was saying when i used to sew 40 years ago i always used liberty fine wool suiting for my jackets and skirts that just sounds very luxurious doesn't it it was beautiful to work with i bet it was dread to think what it would cost now a lot i think would be the answer there yeah, I don't think Liberty do fine wheel suiting anymore. <laughs> um, but I bet it was really lovely. And I bet even 40 years on, it's still like in really good condition because yeah, those kind of quality fabrics just last, don't they? Um, okay, lovely to join from Croatia. Thanks for joining. Normally watch later at home. Um, always interesting, inspiring Lauren. Lovely, thank you. I'm looking to make the Hovi a coat and wondered if you've got ideas in fabrics. I'm not sure what type of fabric, so a few ideas please, if possible. Any tips that will help or any difficult bits? The Hovi is pretty straightforward. So you could use the the, the Thelma quilted fabric. We did it, we did the Hovi as a kit last year with this fabric and it's really nice. Um, but you can make it, it's, it's such a versatile pattern. It depends what sort of properties you want it to have. So if you want it to be water repellent, you could use that. If you want it to be more like a warm version, then you could use a wool fabric. Somebody was asking about the boiled wools. Um, they are due this week, so you could use boiled wool for it as well. Um, and then you can make like a summery version too. And like a, a like the Rami fabric that we have would be like a more summery version. So yeah, there's lots of different options for the Hovia. I love that teal color. Shame I can't buy more fabric at the moment as I have no more room. Sounds like you need to maybe make something, create a little space. Can you suggest an easy straight skirt pattern for needle cord, please? Um, I feel like I've the, the first one that's coming to mind is the Sovra Ava skirt. It's like really simple, it's probably a bit more A-line, but I think you could straighten it out. Um, it was me asking about the rain blouse. Yeah. You can get rotary cutter blade sharpeners. I haven't tried one myself as it depends on the brand and the shape of the hole in the middle. Sorry if mentioned last week. No, it wasn't mentioned last week. Okay, so that's a possibility. A rotary cutter sharpener, rotary cutter blade sharpener. Okay, the questions that were sent in beforehand. Somebody was asking about the hems of t-shirts and how to stop them curling up when I wear them. Um, it might be maybe the hem's not quite deep enough. So then there's not enough on the inside to like hold it in. Um, it could be that maybe it's getting stretched out. If you're using an overlocker to finish it off, potentially you could be stretching it out and that might be making it stick out a little bit. So you need to change your differential feed 
for that. I've got a reel that explains that that Becca did. Um, the other thing that you could try is using Stretch Fix, which is basically a bit like Bonda Web, but it's stretchy. Um, we sell it by the 10 centimeter online, so it's called Stretch Fix, and you just iron it on and it helps to sort of stabilize the hem a little bit, so that might, that might help as well. Um, the next one was, will you ever repeat any of the previous Sewing Society kits? We have used patterns, again, that we have used in the past. Um, but we don't ever repeat exactly the same kit again. Um, usually it's because we can't get like exactly the same fabrics and stuff again. Um, and I just try to sort of create variety, but you know, it, is, it's, it, it can be tricky as the years go on because, you know, I know that some people are like sort of joining the kits or kind of finding the kits later on um, and their journey or like through our journey of making the kits too. And I, know, and I can appreciate that maybe you sort of look at old kit, kits and you maybe think you want to, to get them again. But I suppose we just try and keep things sort of fresh and new um, just so that, so that yeah, if you, if you have been buying kits for a while, there is always something sort of new on offer. But yeah, we have sometimes reused a pattern, but, but with different fabric. Um, the next one was, is there a big difference between the True Bias Emerson waist height options? I would say the difference is noticeable. Um, I, I mean, how do you quantify big? I'm not sure. What you could do is we did the Emersons as a kit. Um, I think that was last summer. So you could look at the, we've got the archived kit listing for the Emersons in the Sewing Society section of the website. So you could look at the photographs that are in that and you'll see the two different versions, the darker navy one I made in the lower rise and then the other versions are in the, the higher rise. So then I guess you'll just see the context of like the height of them on me. Um, and that might give you an idea of how different they are. I personally found the lower one a bit low, but I know that I know that crotch height can be like quite a personal preference thing. I just prefer things that are like a little bit higher. It's just sort of a personal preference thing for me. Um, the next one was, how can I stabilize the neckline of a Tilling the Buttons cocoa dress? I want to use cotton jersey. Um, if you did feel like you wanted to stabilize it, I was thinking maybe you could put some stretch, you could cut some stretch interfacing to put on it. This is very lightweight, so it won't really change. You know, you won't be able to tell that it's on there, um, but it will just help to stabilize the fabric a little bit. Um, so I thought that that might help with that one. Um, or you could potentially use the stretch fix as well. Um, the next one was, if I want to line a jacket in a Sherpa-like material, but I object to polyester, what alternative could I use? The jacket is reversible and I am making the outer layer in a wool check. Um, so this, the, Sher the Sherpa fabric that we've got is this one here. It doesn't actually have its tag, but I'm pretty sure it's 70 cotton 30 polyester um, so it's not all polyester but I can appreciate if you don't want polyester that's fine too um, one option that I was thinking could be nice which is quite sort of snuggly is this one here it's 100% cotton and it's the cotton double fleece fabric so it's not kind of as fluffy and sort of soft as, as that Sherpa fabric uh, Sherling fabric um, but it is nice and cosy um, and you know like feels snuggly as well um, so I thought that could be a nice alternative um, the next one was, I have the coat kit and I wondered whether it's possible to add contrast piping where the lining joins the main coat like we did in the clear coat. So this is like where the, the inside facing joins the lining. Um, and basically you get some, like a bias strip of fabric and you press it in half with wrong sides together. And then you just make it like stick out of that seam a little bit. Yeah, you definitely can do that. Um, absolutely. It adds like a nice little contrast, especially if you're using a lining that's plain because it just like adds a nice little detail. It's really nice. Um, okay, what questions have I been missing here? Um, the Ava is lovely in cord. Yeah, we did the Ava in a sort of chunky cord um, last year as well. It's really nice. Did True Bias release a straight skirt pattern today? Yeah, they did release a skirt today. I don't know how straight it is, but I guess you could just sort of straighten out. It's got buttons down the front. It looks really nice. Um, cargo style, I've lost the context of that now. Will you get any autumnal coloured ginghams in? Um, we do have some of the Atelier Brunette double gauze ginghams that some of them are a bit more autumnal, like sort of deeper shades. So you could, you could check that range out. Um, the Emmy jacket pattern says you'll need the fabric amounts for each side. However, if I use the quilt fabric you shared earlier, would I do okay with just one amount of fabric? 
I'm not entirely sure because I'm not sure I've not like looked in detail at sort of the, the, the instructions and the construction of that pattern. I don't know if you can make it unlined. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm not sure. If anybody started to explore the ME in detail or has the instructions, they might have more info on that. But I'm sorry, I don't know yet. Um, okay, the next one sent in beforehand was fabric suggestions for a snuggly Arlo, please. Again, I'm going to suggest that double cotton fleece. It's really nice. I think that would make a lovely snuggly. Ar it's an Arlo. It's the Arlo track. It's a Friday pattern company pattern and it's like a zip up and um, with different panels and a sort of little turtleneck really nice and um, the next one was with the longer Elford jacket work in your non-stretch corduroy and um, so we've got a really nice non-stretch corduroy that is chunky and I think that would look really nice in the longer Elford the Elford such a nice classic sort of simple pattern it looks good in so many different fabrics um, the next one was, I love the Thelma quilted. Can you suggest some simpler confident beginner patterns for it? So I do have the blog post that's about my grain line Tamarack jacket using the Thelma quilted fabric. It's now on YouTube and it's now on the blog as well. And in the blog post, I list various different patterns that you can also use for that fabric too. The list is not exhaustive. I'm sure there's others on there. Um, I can always add to it if anybody suggests any. But some of the easier ones that I thought would be good are the Greenline Tamarack. If you don't line it with the Sherling fabric, it's, it is really easy. The Megan Nielsen Hovey is pretty easy as well. And the Helen's Closet, um, I think it's the Wildwood. Their new sort of gilet vest. Um, and I've said, I've said that one as well because Helen's Closet instructions are always really good so if you're a confident beginner you're in safe hands with those ones and um, the next one was fabrics for the for a christmas stasia dress i only have ones that are maybe a bit more novelty shall we say and um, these are cotton jersey fabrics and we've got i won't bring both of them over we've got it in like a cream color way as well but this is the navy with these little kind of um kind of gnome sort of gonk things on them and um, so yeah that would that would be fun for the stasia and then also i mean again it's pretty cheesy and novelty but we've got a little santa one too and that's a cotton jersey too so that would be quite fun it depends whether you want like a fun sort of silly stasia or if you're looking for something maybe a bit more uh, glamorous but i don't think i couldn't think of anything um for the stasia that would sort of fit the non-novelty uh, category Okay, the next one was, which cord is best for the Merchant and Mills Eves? So the trousers behind me are the Merchant and Mills Eve, and they are in our chunky cord that I showed you the navy version of earlier. So you can use that. Um, I think I reckon you could also use a needle cord. We've got a stretch needle cord, which is, that's actually what the trousers I'm wearing just now are made from. They're the ginger jeans. They do probably have a little bit more structure. So because the eaves aren't like tight they've kind of got you know they're sort of a bit baggy or it would like hold the structure of them a bit more but i think it would still work i think it would be nice um but yeah if you didn't want them to like sort of be too stiff and hold their shape i would say the chunky cord's good because it's like a little bit floppier or like a finer lighter weight needle cord that, that maybe doesn't have any stretch would also be good too um recommendations for a puffy sleeve top with long sleeves um so we in september we did the fiber mid josephine as a kit which is a dress but it comes with a top version as well and it's got really nice sleeves that are quite sort of puffy and then they've got a really nice long deep cuff so you could definitely lengthen that it's okay it's a bit, bit past three quarter length it's not full length but you could easily lengthen it um and then the anna allen anthea and the fiber mid norma are another two really nice patterns that have got sort of fuller more puff sleeves and again they're not full length sleeves but i think you could just lengthen them when i made my norma i did lengthen mine i didn't make it full length i made it more like three quarter length but it was pretty easy to do that so you could definitely definitely just lengthen something and um, then we had which black sweatshirting did you use for your toaster do you mind if i copy you absolutely not is the answer i don't mind at all if you copy me um, I'm not 100% sure if we have the the black colorway in stock, but we are expecting a delivery from this supplier this week, so it should be back soon. But it's this one here. This is the sort of russety color, and it is the, let me just get the name right so that you can find it. It's the, so this is the russet, so then it would be the black. 
snuggly fleece back organic cotton sweatshirting and it's 320 gsm so it's much thicker and denser it's really cozy i love it for my toaster it holds the sort of shape of the neckline really well and um, and it's really lovely and warm so yeah we do have it in various colors and if we don't have it in black right now and um, you can sign up for a stock notification and it's coming back pretty soon and um, okay let's see what questions and things i have missed here could i use a pinterest ponte roma type material with a small amount of stretch for the stevie yeah you probably could yeah um, the Emmy jacket, the pattern says you'll need the fabric amounts for each side. However, if I use the quilt fabric you shared earlier, oh, sorry, I've already read that one. Um, I made the I Am Hathor Gili in the Thelma fabric, which was fairly straightforward. Yeah, that does look like another really nice, simple one. The Emmy jacket is very tempting, so versatile option to make it reversible. The Soul Love patterns, Whitcomb top. Whitcomb top has lovely long puffy sleeves. Thank you for the suggestion. I'm just going to start using the Mariflex thread. Do I use it in the bobbin as well? Yes, you do. Do you have waxed fabric for a Kelly Anorak? We do have waxed fabric. It is probably like a little bit lighter weight than the waxed fabric I've previously used for the Kelly. Um, so I would say maybe it's, it's, you would, it's probably better that you line it. The, the one that we've got um but yeah we yeah i think maybe if you're looking for it online you might want to see if you can find a heavier weight one it's like a little bit transparent the one that we've got um okay the next question was fabric suitable for an autumnal sawtail dress by in the folds so this was like it's a bit kind of like a sort of shift dress we like little grown on sleeves and it had quite a wide sort of kind of like a band that kind of crossed at the front and then like a fold here and um, so I was thinking for a more autumnal version it says that you can use wool suiting or a lightweight denim and we do have some really lovely wool suitings and um, that I've got quite a lot of knit they're quite lightweight they've got nice drape as well this one's just a navy one but we do have some really nice check ones as well and um, so I thought that would be nice for it and then we do also have, it's literally just arrived today, so it'll be, it should be back in stock again tomorrow. It's the combed cotton denim. That's what it's called. Um, we've it, it, It's like literally sitting in its packaging out in the hallway. It just needs unwrapped and added to the system. Um, but it's been a really popular one, and I think that would be nice too. A nice denim version would be good as well. Um, the next one was, would the Alpine first sweatshirt work for the forget-me-not Clementine dress? I don't think we've got any of the Alpine sweatshirt in stock left at the moment. We've got more coming soon. I think it was, I think it's too thick though, from having a quick look at the pattern. I think that the looped back, where's it gone? Um, the looped back jersey fabric would be better for it if you're looking for something that's a bit thicker. So this is a French Terry, um, so it's got a nice loop back to it. It's a nice weight, but it's really stretchy. It's got a really lovely drape to it. It's really comfortable. It feels lovely to wear. So that's the, the loop back jersey fabric. It's, it's medal. It comes in lots of different colours. Um, this particular colour is petrol. Um, it's a really nice versatile fabric, that one. Um, okay, the next one was, can I see the difference between the cream and white Serona? Um, I can show you. The difference is very subtle. The top one is the white and the bottom one is the cream. So hopefully you can sort of see a little bit. I think if you have like a specific shade in mind, it's best to either get a swatch or a 10 centimeter strip so that you can check because you know, descriptions of white and cream can just vary quite a bit. Um, and if you're trying to like specifically sort of match, you're looking for a very specific shape, then, whoops, yeah, I would say it's best to get, um, to get a sample. I've just realized that that bit of fabric has knocked my other tripod over. Two seconds till I check what that is doing. Yeah, it's fine. Um, okay, the next one was fabrics in autumnal colors for the sew over at carry trousers. So also if you check out a range of wool suitings for that one, um, I think that would be nice. It says that you need something with drape for the, the carry trousers and our wool suitings do have a lot of really nice drape. The other one that would be good, and again, we are waiting for more colors of this. There's a really lovely kind of sort of muted greeny one that's nice. Um, and we do have another 
it's kind of like an olivey greeny wool fabric coming in as well that would be really nice too for it that'll be back in stock again tomorrow um but but yeah the range is the blended bamboo fabric so it's fam bamboo and recycled polyester so this is i'm just showing you this as like another colorway i wouldn't say this fabric is this colorway is particularly autumnal but the range comes in other colorways that is autumnal and um, we just waiting for more stock to arrive and um, but this would be lovely for them it's really soft it's got really nice drape it doesn't crease either because it's got that polyester content so i think that would be lovely for the carry trousers and um, then the next one was fabrics for the tasuti amara vest this looked like quite a loose sort of loose kind of jumper vest that you'd wear maybe over a shirt or something and um, so boiled wool would be good our boiled wool should be here later this week we've got some really beautiful colors coming of that the other one that i thought would be good is the viscose blended knit fabric which again comes in lots of different colors this one's a navy um, and this feels really lovely as well it's like a nice sort of knitted fabric it's lovely and soft it's got it's quite floppy it's got drape in it too um, and then the other one that I thought could work nicely as well is this one and um, this comes in other colorways too this is the pebble blue marl knit fabric um, and this yeah this looks like a, a like a like a hand knitted fabric really it's lovely and um, so I thought that would be nice too especially if you're like layering it over other garments and then the next one was warm recommendations for the Tilly in the Buttons Sunny Jacket. That's the new jacket that they've brought out. It looks very nice. Um, and they do also have an add-on pack for lining. So obviously if you lined it, that's going to make it warmer too. Um, you could line it with the Sherling fabric that I showed you earlier. You could line it with a lovely cozy cotton flannel. I think that would be nice too. Um, and then you could use, you could use the ch chunky cord. I think that would feel nice and warm. Um, and then I was thinking you probably could use boiled wool as well, um, especially if you're lining it and that would help to sort of stabilise it a bit too. So that would de boiled wool would definitely be nice and warm for that. Um, and then the final one was about making the Fabric Godmother peony dress and a, either a plain navy or black. Do you have any suggestions? She doesn't iron anything, although she was going to make it for her daughter, although she does have a steamer. So I give and hope for a few wrinkles. Um, what what you could use actually, and again, sorry, I can't actually show you it, but it should be arriving this week, is that bamboo blended uh, fabric that I just had. It was in that really bright blue colorway, but we do do it in a black as well. And I think that would be nice and it doesn't crease. Um, and, it, and yeah, it's plain as well. So I think that would that would definitely be a good option. I don't know if we have it in a navy, actually. We have it in like an indigo color, which is a bit more sort of, like a darker denim colour as opposed to a navy but I'm but I'm like 95% sure we do also have it in a black as well I just couldn't see that colour in the shelf which might mean that we're just waiting for more to come in the delivery that's due this week and um, so yeah I think that would be good for a nice plain classic fabric godmother P&A and um, let me just see what other questions I've missed here fabric and pattern suitable for a winter wedding um, the the Deer and Old Magnolia dress is one of my favourite dresses for a wedding. Um, Fibre Mood also have some nice dresses too. I've made the Marion dress and the Gladys dress from Fibre Mood before for a wedding as well. Um, and yeah, we've got some really nice sort of darker colourways of like viscose prints that would be nice as well. So you could check out the viscose uh, prints for that on the website. Could I ask the teddy billy behind you, is that made with the balloon sleeve or the straight sleeve? Good question. It's a mixture of two. Um, so it's the plain sleeve at the top and then we just kind of laid them like over each other and then blended out to the fullness in the bottom. So it's ballooned at the bottom, but it's it's straight at the top. Um, will you be getting any more stretch velvet again this year? Hmm, interesting question. Quite possibly. Um, yeah, we might be. <laughs> okay well that was all the questions that were sent in beforehand if anybody does have any other questions or anything to ask me now please do um i've tried to sort of race through everything tonight because i've actually got um quite a sore back at the moment and i'm struggling to stand for longer periods of time so i was trying to be very efficient tonight and get through <laughs> everything um but thank you for watching and tuning in everyone and for all your questions i love hearing what you're asking about and what you're sewing and thinking up things that you can do so yeah keep keep your questions coming 
Um, next week is half term for my kids and I'm hoping that, that I will be here next Monday. I definitely won't be here the following Monday, but I'll, but yeah, I'll put the question box up as normal next weekend if I am going to be here next Monday. Um, but um, yeah, so I'll either see you next week or I'll see you in quite a few weeks time. Um, but yeah, I definitely know that two weeks to, to two weeks today I won't be here, but hopefully I will be here that, um, next week. Um, so yeah, this weekend is Sobra, the Sobra meetup, the 10th anniversary. If you're coming to that, then I'm very excited. I will be seeing you all. I will be upstairs in the studio at the shop. That's where we're having a handmade garment swap. And then we've also got a pattern and fabric swap as well. So people can bring along things that they don't want anymore and then swap them for something else. Or if you don't have anything to donate, then you can still participate in the swap. We just suggest that you make a donation to one of the charities that we're raising money for, which this year is Birmingham Mind, so that's a mental health charity, and um, St Basil's as well, which is a local homeless charity that help young people. Um, so so yeah there's also a raffle as part of Sobrum as well and um, with loads of really amazing prizes again that's in aid of charity too and you can buy tickets for that um online by donating to the just giving page um and the draw will be happening here and at the second venue as part of Sobrum which is the Mosley Exchange which is literally just like a stone's throw down the road they're practically our next door neighbors um and then we're also going to draw the raffle on instagram live as well me and charlotte and um, so so yeah you could you could join in the raffle from then as well um so so yeah that is this weekend need to just try and ensure that my back situation is maybe a little bit better by then um but yeah thank you for joining everyone thank you for all your thanks um that's really nice. I would like to make a white blouse slash shirt. Any fabric suggestions? This The Serona linen is nice. And then I think a lot of our white fabrics have kind of, got, we're, in, we're in, in like more sort of summery ones. We don't have as many now. Um, but yeah, this, the Seronas would be nice. Um, let me just check if I haven't missed anything else. Thank you for all your well wishes, everyone, too. Um, so, so yeah, I will... I will, well, I'll be on Instagram live anyway on Saturday for this raffle draw. Um, and then hopefully I'll see you next Monday too. But um, yeah, have a good week, everyone. And I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye.